Hello, this is Matt from TracyandMatt.co.uk and I'm back with the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Hopefully you saw our full unboxing video and demo video from uh, about a week ago. Um, but I just wanted to wrap up a couple of things um, because of the benchmark that we did um, using Quadrant wasn't, uh, wasn't totally accurate because Quadrant uh, isn't really um, optimised for um, Ice Cream Sandwich which is uh, Android OS 4.0 uh, which is running on this uh, Google Nexus, uh, sorry the uh, Galaxy Nexus and a few other things that have come up in uh, questions that we've had uh, following the video so I thought we'd just uh, wrap those up. Um, if you missed the video I'll just do a quick recap though. The display here we have on the uh, Galaxy Nexus is 4.65 inches 720 by 1280 pixels, really high resolution, super AMOLED display uh, capacitive touchscreen, absolutely awesome screen 1.3 megapixel forward facing camera for video conferencing and that kind of stuff loudspeaker at the front and uh, ambient light proximity sensors there as well left hand side up and down volume control on the back or rather on the bottom we have a micro USB sync charge connector microphone and uh, socket there which is a 3.5mm headphone socket for uh, your own headphones or indeed wired headset that comes with it on the left, uh, right hand side we have a couple of connectors there contacts that will allow us to pop, pop this into a, a dock uh, when one's available power button and on the top absolutely nothing at all on the back 5 megapixel autofocus camera uh, with LED flash really quite good camera actually back cover just pops off, uh, space for SIM card battery's already in place and uh, uh, you'll notice that there isn't a micro SDHC memory card uh, we do have 16 gig of internal memory on this one. Um, there is a 32 gig model available, um, although it's not here in this country at the moment, not here in the UK. Um, and well, it's a little bit of a question mark as to where and when that will actually be available. Um, so that kind of covers some of the basics. The one thing that we really want to talk about is um, the performance, uh, because that was one of the questions that came up following the unboxing video. So we have an Android um, OS 4.0. Uh, operating system on here, ice cream sandwich, uh, coupled with a dual core 1.2 gigahertz uh, Cortex processor and one gig of RAM. And the benchmark that I did um, from just over a week ago or about a week ago was run with Quadrant. As a few of you pointed out on the uh, on YouTube, Quadrant isn't optimized for ice cream sandwich. There is another benchmarking tool that we can use, N22, which we're going to just run. I have run this already on here, but I just want to run it through. And by way of comparison. I'm going to run that up against the uh, Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc. The Arc has a 1 GHz processor and it's single core. So I guess this is kind of a, a bit more main, uh, ordinary, in inverted commas, uh, with a 1 GHz processor, single core. And then obviously the uh, Galaxy Nexus has dual core 1.2. So we're going to kick both of these off and start the test. And then you can. Uh, see the results afterwards I'm just going to keep quiet for a moment while that runs
Okay, with the Galaxy Nexus complete, we'll just wait for the arc to catch up. And we'll just scroll this uh, results page down. Looks like the uh, arc is a little ways behind there. So our total score, 6,140. Uh, we could actually run a battery test later on. But we've got uh, results for everything else and the card read write speeds and everything else. I suspect that it's actually the SD card that's going to be slower in here. I don't have an SD card in here, it's using an internal ROM. But we'll uh, let's just wait for that to finish read speed. Do bear in mind, we'll mention it once again, the Xperia Arc is a 1 GHz single core processor with uh, Android 2.3 gingerbread and the Nexus Galaxy Nexus is dual core 1.2 with um, 4.0, Android 4.0. Okay, so here you got our results. I'll just pop back from there. Uh, and as you can see, like a uh, like for like comparison, total score 2,942 with a single core at 1.024 megahertz. And as you can see there, dual core 1200 at 6,140. And the score chart for both my device here is coming in middle of the, middle of the range. And there we go, my device here. So let's just move that one out of the way. Take a close look at that benchmark. As you can see, Galaxy Nexus score on the bar, we're slightly above it. Obviously, that is this device. But uh, you get a comparison there. It's a little bit behind the quad core prime, as you can see. Transformer prime, but that really is very much to be expected with quad core on 1.4 gigahertz. But it's a good benchmark result, good performance, um, and one that's a little bit more. Um, I would say a little bit more realistic compared to the video that we, uh, or the benchmark we did um, earlier in the week. One other thing I just do want to tidy up uh, while I'm recording the video. Um, there are a lot of uh, claims and uh, conversations, shall we say, about the capability of the camera in the uh, Google Galaxy Nexus. And I just want to clear those up. Uh, the video recording is 1080p um, or 720p as well. But uh, 1080p is what it's capable of, and just to show you that, we go in here, go into settings, and we change the different settings. Our different settings that are available are 1080p, 720p, and 480p. Uh, there are claims that 12 of 1280p, well, 1280p isn't a standard that I'm aware of anyway, but uh, it certainly isn't capable of that anyway. So let's just clear that up. So that's a quick uh, wrap up and benchmark of the Samsung Galaxy Network Nexus. Our full review will be up on site uh, over the next couple of weeks. In the meantime, if you want to follow us on Twitter, it's twitter.com slash tracyandmatt or facebook.com slash tracyandmatt.co.uk. Um, if you want to ask me any questions about the uh, Galaxy Nexus or any other devices that we're reviewing, please do so. I'll do my best to answer any questions that you may have. Uh, I'll be back soon with some more videos and reviews on tracyandmatt.co.uk. But for now, thanks for watching.